hujambo mtazamaji popote ulipo karibu kwenye taarifa za mbiu ya KTN la siri hii jina langu ni Ali Manzu mtazamaji moja kwa moja tunaanza na taarifa kutoka kaunti ya Machakos ambako tunarifiwa kwamba wauguzi ambao walikuwa wamegoma kuanzia hapo juzi mapema la siri hii basi wameru, wameweza kurudi makazini baada ya kukaa chini kwenye mkutano pamoja na wasimamizi wakuu katika idara ya afya kutoka kaunti ya Machakos baadhi ya hospitali ambazo ziliendelea kuathirika mapema hii leo ni ile ya Machakos level 5 na hata hospitali moja sehemu ya Kangundo mwanahabari mwenzangu Elvis Kosgei anaarifu Swala la mgomo nchini limeendelea kuathiri pakubwa sekta mbalimbali. Haya yanajiri baada madaktari kususia kazi na kuendeleza mgomo ambao macho wagonjwa wengi katika hali ya kuatua moyo. Katika hospitali ya Kangundo kaunti ya Machakos, taswira ya upweke inatukaribisha. Hospitali hii ya Kangundo imesalia bila madaktari wala wauguzi. Shughuli nzima inaonekana kulemaa huku wagonjwa kionekana kudhikika mno. Steven Wambua ambaye amekuwa hapa kwa muda ni mwathiriwa aliyepata majeraha kutokana na kuchomwa na moto. Wambua aliachona uguzi tangu mgomo kuanza. Tulikuwa tunatibiwa vizuri. Kuna shida ilitokea kutoka jana. Mimi huwa nafanya dressing kila siku. Na sasa shida ile imekuwa kutoka jana tujaona daktari yote anatuhudumia. Hatujafanya dressing sasa iko shida. Nako mjini Machakos, hospitali hii ya kipekee imesalia bila madaktari huku wagonjwa wakiwataka wada usika kusulisha mgomo ili hali ireje kama kawaida. Awali wagonjwa hawa walipata lishe bora kwenye hospitali hii ila hali kwa sasa imekuwa mbaya. Uh, the responsible wenye wanaweza shungulikia hii mgomo. Kwa za hata hatuna madaktari, hakuna wenye wamefika, hatuja atentiwa. Wadau katika kaunti hii ya Machakos wanadaiwa kuwa kwenye mkutano ambao utatoa suluhu ya kudumu kuhusiana na mgomo huu ambao umezidi kutatiza shughuli za kawaida. Elvis Kosgei, KTN. Kama nilivyokuelezea mgomo huo sehemu ya kaunti ya Machakos umesitishwa mara moja la asiri hii. Kwingineko seneta wa Makueni Mutula Kindo, Kilonzo ameandikisha taarifa kwa idara ya CID baada ya kiongozi mkuu wa mashtaka serikalini Keria Kotobiko kuagiza uchunguzi wa madai ya kuharibiwa kwa sampuli ya chembe chembe za mwili wa babake marehemu Mutula Kilonzo. Familia marehemu Kilonzo iliwasilisha malalamiko yao kwa mkurugenzi wa mashtaka serikalini wakisitiza kuwa chembe chembe hizo zilizotumwa Uingereza kwa utafiti zaidi ziliharibiwa. I have faith that we will be able to determine one the chain of custody. I have faith that we will be able to determine who sealed those samples. I have faith that we will be able to determine the manner in which those samples were ferried and how those samples arrived either unsealed or tampered with because as a family we still do not know the references of tampered with or unsealed we would like to know the details the samples we are referring to were the samples of his stomach his liver his pancreas his brain uh, his muscles etc those are the samples i'm referring to i strongly believe that there was uh, a cover up and interference and the sole purpose of attempting to interfere with my father's samples is so that we could we do not get a conclusive finding of the cause of death because the remember i have stated that the chief government pathologist had confirmed that in fact because of technical technological technical challenges in the country they could not uh, get what is called as detailed toxicology reports. So the persons who have interfered with my father's samples are determined to ensure that we never quite get to the actual cause of the substance that caused him to die. Huku mgomo wa kitaifa wa walimu kiingia wiki ya pili gavana wa Singishu Jackson Mandago amesitiza kuwa walimu wanafaa kuitisha kile ambacho serikali inaweza kuwalipa Mandago alisema kuwa maafisa wa NAT pamoja na kupetwa na stahili kujadiliana na serikali badala ya walimu kususia kazi 
Aliongezea kusema kuwa walimu ni jukumu lao kurejesha vikao vitakavyoleta suluhu kwa mkwamo ambao umeathiri elimu kote nchini. Alikuwa akizungumza sehemu ya Captagat County ya Wasingishu alipoanzisha mradi wa barabara. And I support teachers for ongezeo mshahara. But reasonable increase. Don't ask for what we don't have. Where well, kwa taonza kuwa reasonable. Also saying the more salary you want, we well, sign performance contract. In fact, we should say TSC should should make a limit. You can be promoted kuwa lazy after three years, nani nani, ukifika mahali fulani, performance contract. You cannot run away from the government. You are not going to manufacture another government. Waziri wa Usalama Joseph Nkaiseri amedokeza kuwa wizara yake inabuni sheria inayolenga kusuluhisha suito fahamu iliyopo sasa kwenye mfumo wa mamlaka na usimamizi kuhusu masuala ya kiusalama katika kaunti mbalimbali nchini. Nkaiseri amesema sheria hiyo inalenga kuleta uiano kwenye majukumu ya magavana na yale ya makamishna katika kaunti hizo ambazo wanazoziwakilisha rais wanawakilisha rais katika serikali ya taifa kwenye mkakati wa kudumisha usalama sehemu za nyanjani. At the moment we are looking um, the restructuring of the national government administration and as per the constitution I've already been briefed and the deadline for this restructuring as per the constitution will be August this year and we are looking into that and one of the areas which is giving us problems is the area of security the command structure of the counties the governors want a share or want to responsibility in this and and the national government as you realize county commanders are direct representative of the president at the county level and since this is a, a national responsibility uh, security uh, we will look at the legislation which will address both the county governor's concern and what will anger the legislation as far as the constitution na kwengineko mtazamaji mamia wakazi katika sehemu ya Maralali ikiwa ni katika kaunti ya Samburu kule waliandamana mapema hii leo kulalamikia mauaji ya kijana mmoja wa miaka 19 ambapo pia watu wengine sita walishambuliwa na mshukiwa mmoja ujambazi na kuachwa na majeraha. Kisanga hicho mtazamaji kilitokea usiku kwa mkia leo katika kijiji cha Laporo sehemu hiyo ya Maralala. Polisi wa Samburu walithibitisha kisa hicho huku uchunguzi ukipelekea kunaswa kwa washukiwa wawili kufikia sasa. Wenyeji walidhabishwa mno na hatua ya washukiwa wa uhalifu kuachiliwa kiholela hasa baada ya kufanya uh, kufanya uhalifu mshikiwa huyo alikuwa ameachwa siku chache tu zilizopita kabla ya kutekeleza uhalifu huo usiku wa kuamkia hii leo mtu ambaye tunaishi na yeye na mtu ambaye tunamtambua mtu ambaye amefanya mauaji hapa kwa leo ameweza kumua mwanafunzi ambaye alikuwa anasindikiza mzazi wake akienda kwa basi usiku. Ya pili pia amewadunga watu watano wako hospitali, amewadunga visu. Criminal aliwahi kufungwa. Jana usiku alikuwa na hivi hizo mnaona. Akaenda town, akakatakata watu. We received the report. Tulipata habari leo asubuhi. Na as we are talking tumeshika hiyo mtu na hako na sisi ndani 